Safaricom uh, seems to remain on the headlines quite a bit this week. Competitively moved 34 million shares today uh, between 550, 590. Retail investors, we're already seeing them cashing in uh, on the gains made this week. If this continues to happen and the foreign activity holds up, you know, will this sustain the momentum or are we likely to see uh, that particular stock dropping again? And looking at the information that seems to be streaming in, Safaricom is currently being priced at uh, 6 shillings and 40 cents. So the demand for the share seems to be supported also based on the information that people are looking at the share as undervalued. Though again, we have been seeing a lot of people who had bought at below the per value, below 5 shillings who are beginning to cash in. And the supply started streaming in significantly today. It was notably when we noted that we went up to 590, then we, st we, we dipped slightly. And as we were closing the market, we are seeing the demand beginning to come in, but not as strong as it had been. So we may not see it maybe crossing uh, much beyond uh, six shillings for a while. We're also seeing now strategic alliances, equity banks, Safaricom coming up with a cutlass transfer deal. Now there's several ways both companies can benefit from this. But let's look at equity bank, which is already commanding over half of Kenya's banking population. This could mean more customers to them. And I'm just wondering, are investors looking um, you know, at such innovations to buy into a stock and what could happen to equity following such news? Definitely, if you look at uh, equity trying to ride on the customer base of Safaricom, which at the moment we're talking about well over five million customer base, definitely that would be a significant boost for such a bank with a customer base of over a million that is for equity bank if it can be able to take advantage of the techno technical aspect of, uh, of some of these uh, innovations to definitely inc increase in terms of their performance and uh, their positioning especially in terms of Safaricom which has gotten a lot of loyalty in the Kenyan market would definitely position it for a lot of growth. Now, uh, other news making headlines today predictions are that tea production will be up 60 percent this year now, will higher supply mean less demand? You know, we saw what happened last year and some of the tea companies, uh, when the supply was much lower than expected, made it to the top gainers of 2009 on the stock exchange. What is likely to happen following uh, such news? That's a very good observation, Terry. And we are seeing last year most of the uh, tea companies were recording very good margins, mainly because of the uh, demand supply imbalance and being able to produce or demand pushing the prices up and also favoritive in terms of the foreign exchange uh, earnings and, uh, and profits. So definitely, if at all the forex market remains stable, you're going to see the demand, the supply pushing the prices slightly lower. And so we are going to uh, encourage some of these firms to be a bit proactive in terms of looking for markets and looking at seeing whether they can be able to still take advantage of some of the other regions that are maybe may not be able to get such good uh, output. Now another sector that seems to be attracting quite a bit of interest is the energy sector and just today the Kenyan government um, announced that it is set to open a green energy fund. Now we saw how companies last year you know suffered really badly in terms of the energy crisis that was experienced and some had to you know create their own energy with such a fund in place. Is it set to tip the balance um, of companies uh, you know dealing with electricity Electricity, Kenya Power and Lighting, Kenjan, which have been attractive stocks, and green energy will definitely be a competitor in the long term. Well, looking at it in terms of the, the broader picture that uh, the Kenya vision that is especially about industrialization, definitely energy demands are definitely going to continue growing, especially in the next few years as we work towards industrialization. So being able to diversify would be very, very good, a, a very good venture for the moment. And as you observed, over the long term, some of these counters like Kenjan, KPLC might definitely have to think about working hand in hand with the government to be able to still take advantage of such a setup because at the moment, especially over the short term, the infrastructure might be the bit of the concern because KPLC see Kenjan, their structure is very good and uh, very reliable in terms of uh, how they're able to generate their power and distribute it. But uh, once we see, we take advantage of green, which mostly seems to be uh, marketable to the retail uh, or uh, small small individuals, we definitely work at, at seeing how industries can be able to take advantage of such, it will be able to be a good a good venture. But uh, over the long term, definitely is a threat to some of these counters. And so we, sh we should see them trying to see how they can be proactive in terms of embracing such, a, such new inno innovative ideas. Talking about Kenya um, infrastructure, I'd like us to look briefly at Kenya Airways, um, a stock that has quite uh, attracted quite a bit of interest this and last week. As we get into the World Cup, uh, you know, people are saying they are set to cash in um, on that. 2009 was not so good for them in terms of the profits. You know, they didn't uh, perform very well in reflection to the global uh, climate, airline climate last year. 
Is this a keeper as we go into to, to 2010? Well, Kenya Airways has been one of the stocks which a lot of investors have made a lot of money. I, we hear that some of the counters which is being studied even in the, uh, in the developed economies. And definitely that's one of the counters which many people are really shunning and giving a short cold, especially last year because of what happened with, the, they had I think a mishap with a plane and they had a strike, a civil a strike of their staff and all. So definitely it was one of the counters which many people had almost offloaded significantly. But definitely as people are looking at some of the value stocks for this year as uh, uh, Kenya Airways is proving very very good though it has significantly risen especially in the past uh, one two weeks it's one of the counters which most of the foreigners are really going for and uh, the price that, uh, that, that is operating in at the moment seems to be very relatively high for anybody who might be interested in buying but definitely in the range of 35 to 38 is a good buy.